Lucy, how are you? Hi, Tony, how are you? Bell, 29. How are you? I'm just going to come on for a few minutes to ask if ever I'm fine. Thank you. I've been asked if I can cover the roundabout question that I cover. So, if you ever struggle with signaling at roundabout, stay with me and then we'll do um, so give me some like, give me some comments, and then um, this live will go out to people, and then I can get started. It's a pleasure, it really is. If you join in with me, and um, give me comments, I give me likes, and that'll be really, really good. I'll just get myself set up. I'm going to do a question. Um, Roundabout question. If you properly understand roundabouts, uh, roundabouts, we're going to do stuff and then we'll go through some questions together. So let me know. Can you fix your mic? I, I think it's, I've got a few problems with TikTok today, and I think it's TikTok. It's, uh, Lots of people saying my mic has got a problem. Uh, lots of people saying there's no problem with my microphone at all. Uh, so let me know who is hearing me. Let me know. There's nothing wrong with my microphone. Let me, uh, let, let me know if there's a problem or not. You just say me, I won't know about you, me. It's muffled or it's not. If it is muffled for some of the people, I'm just going to go. There's no point in talking to people at home. Now, I've missed off the live app already. Someone is having a breathing over you. I don't know. No, I've not dropped my, my iPhone in water. No, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to go. Lots of, everyone's saying they can't hear me. That's happened this morning as well, but there's nothing wrong with my mic. Half, half of you said you could, half of you said you couldn't. Um, and I'm having a couple of other TikTok problems. It's better now. I've not done anything. Hello, Accelerate with Kate. Hello, Kate. How are you? You can hear me now. I don't know what's happening then. You can hear me now. Awesome. Okay, right. So uh, what I'm going to do is 450 people on. I hope the person that wants me to go over, over roundabouts is here. If they're not here, then um, that's a shame because it is almost five past. Uh, so let's go over this roundabout. Let's first of all, let me just tell you who I am because some people might not even know me. Um, and we're lucky we've got another another driving truck on here watching as well. So uh, you've got double double the help for a few minutes. Um, so my name is Annie. Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm an ADI. That means I'm an approved driving instructor. I'm also an audit trainer. I'm also a theory test expert. I've created a course. Um, this course is to help you to pass your theory test. Um, it takes you step by step through um, how to pass. Um, it's got worksheets, video tutorials, fact lists, all the official questions, mini mock tests, full mock tests, etc, etc. And if you sign up while I'm live, then um, it's only £34.99. You pass today with your course. Hey, that's awesome. That's about the eighth, ninth comment message I've had today with that, or more, actually. So that's Fantastic. Horse Mad also passed with my course and says, hey, Annie, booked my driving test for June. Yay. Well done. That's awesome, isn't it? Awesome that you can get through the theory and now you can get on with the driving part. That's brilliant. Um, if you go through this course, you will be 100% prepared to pass. It's got everything you need. So let's get on. It's five past four now. Let's get on with this question. Um, nervous but excited. Yeah, that's what you So, So you just tell yourself, I'm excited. Get rid of that nervous word and just say, I'm so excited. Um, thanks for the likes, uh, everybody. Um, got your test on Monday. I'm so anxious. The feelings of anxiety are very, very similar or the same as feelings of excitement. So just say to yourself, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about my test. It helps. I promise you it does. Okay, so the question is, what signal should you give when you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? 
I want you to put the answer in. Is it A, signal left before leaving the roundabout? B, don't signal at any time. C, signal right when you're approaching the roundabout. D, signal left when you're approaching the roundabout. Put the right answer in for me. Let me know what you think. If you don't know, then please put IDK for I don't know. I really, really want to know what you know. I want to know if everybody knows the answer to this. Horse Mad says, guys, you won't regret getting Annie's course. It's amazing and helped me pass. Worth every penny. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, um, Horse Mad. I really appreciate that. I have put a lot, of, a lot into it to make sure it covers everything for you. Okay, so um, let me go, let me see what your answer to this question is. Then I'll go all the way, look at my pictures, look at my pictures. I'll go all the way, go through the um, lesson with you, go through a bit of an explanation with you and you'll see how easy roundabouts are to understand. So we've got some A's, some B's and some D's in the answers and some I don't knows. That's good for me because that means that I'm going to be teaching you something. I'm going to be helping you and that's what I want to do. Um, I don't want you not to know, of course. Cool. Thank you for your support. Nice, you're amazing. Oh, so are you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Horse Mad. Okay, so here's a picture of a roundabout. Let's go through it. Let's go through this lesson. When you're learning about roundabouts and signalling at roundabouts, there are two different signals you need to know about. Now, what I want all the way through is some interaction, please. So interact with me now and just put yeses or, or y, a letter Y for yes, if you can't bother writing the whole thing in, that you understand what I'm talking about. So the first thing I want you to understand is there are two separate signals you need to know about. You need to know what signal to give as you're approaching the roundabout, as you're driving towards the roundabout. And you need to know what signal to give when you're coming off the roundabout. That's two separate signals. Does that make sense? Let me know, does that make sense? I want to know you're with me. I know it makes sense, but let me know you're with me. Two separate round of, two separate signals that you need to know about. First, what signal do I give when I'm driving towards the roundabout? Second, what signal do I give to come off the roundabout? Awesome, Kate, I'm glad you understand it. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Okay, so let's first of all talk about the signal you give when you're driving towards the roundabout. It's really, really easy, by the way. Don't overthink it. This is absolutely simple to understand once somebody's gone through it with you. And those of you who are having proper driving lessons will probably understand it already. Okay, so first of all, this is the red car. This is you in the red car. And you've got a roundabout. You've got an exit. Exit one to the left. Exit two is straight ahead of you, straight in front of you. And exit three is over to the right. If you're turning left and you're in this red car, you would be signalling left when you get to here to say you're going left. If you're going right, third exit, you would signal right when you get to here. If you're going ahead, second exit, you do not signal when you're here at all. On the approach to a roundabout, when you're driving towards a roundabout and you're going ahead, you do not put any signal on to say you're going ahead. Just think of it, just think of it as if you were approaching approaching um, a crossroads, okay? A crossroads is just the same without the circle in the middle. If you were going left, you'd signal left as you were driving towards. If you, uh, if you were going right, you would signal right. If you were going straight ahead, you would not pop a signal on because there isn't a signal to say we're going ahead. So how then are we telling people we're going ahead? If there's no signal to go ahead at this roundabout, how are we telling people we're going straight ahead? Let me know. What do you think? You passed yourself months ago. Oh, <laughs> what do you, how do you think we're telling people we're going ahead? It's really simple. It's really big. I'm not trying to trick you. Positioning's a good one. Yeah, you're in the correct position. You're in the correct lane. And they dada call because you're not signalling. Absolutely. You are not signalling. That means you're going straight ahead. Just like if you were approaching 
these uh, just like if you were going if you were here if you weren't signaling that means you're carrying on going straight ahead if you're not signaling at this roundabout that means you're going straight ahead awesome now put some yeses in the comments or double tap the screen to give me some likes if you now understand the signaling for roundabouts I can say it's as easy as that. If you're going left, signal left. If you're going right, signal right. If you're going ahead, do not signal on the approach to a roundabout. Isn't that simple? Isn't that simple? Awesome. Hey, you passed today. Thanks for your help. Thank you for popping on and letting me know about that. That's brilliant. Cool. Okay, so the second signal you need to know about, see how easy it is when somebody explains it to you. So what your driving instructor does for you, isn't it? Okay, so the second signal you need to know about is the signal to come off the roundabout. Now, you always signal to come off a roundabout. Put, um, put uh, an S for signal if you understand that you always signal to come off a roundabout. Hi, Siobhan. Put an S for signal if you understand that you always signal to come off a roundabout. Fantastic. Now, what way do we signal to come off a roundabout? Just picture it. Now, when when you're thinking about this and think this is a really, really simple question, some people learn to drive in a different country, remember that, okay? So they get a bit mixed up, all right? Um, some people get mixed up between lefts and rights, so remember that. So, thank you, Dad, 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 back. Well, however you say that. You're absolutely right, guys. We always signal left to come off a roundabout. We go around to the right and we signal left to come off a roundabout, always. So when do we signal? When do we signal? Yes, Kyle, absolutely. So if you're going left, you'd already be signalling left on the approach. If you were going ahead, second exit, you wouldn't signal on the approach, but you signal left when you get to about here. If you were going right, third exit, you'd be signalling right on the approach and you start signalling left when you get to about here. Just exactly the same as imagine that roundabout with one, two, three exits is a straight road with one, two, three exits. You, if you don't want to signal too early, if you're going left, you signal left here. If you're going down exit two, you signal left as you're passing exit one. If you're going down exit three, you signal left as you're passing exit two. So you signal as you pass the exit before the one you want to take. Yay, Megan Curley, I know your name, that's awesome. So you signal, when you're coming off a roundabout, you signal left as you're passing the exit before the one you want to take. That makes sense. Put some yeses in if that makes sense. If it doesn't, you need to hear it again, then this will go onto YouTube tonight. So you can go and watch it again, or you can sign up for my course where everything is in there that you need, okay? So if you want to um, let me know that that's, you understand that. Yes, 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 absolutely awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so we're not talking about double lane roundabouts. We're talking about signalling at roundabouts right now. I can't cover too much. So let's come back to the question. The question was, what signal should you give when you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? Should you signal left before leaving the roundabout? Should you don't signal at any time? C, signal right when you're approaching the roundabout. D, signal left when you're approaching the roundabout. So let's get rid of two rubbish answers. When you're doing your theory test questions, always think about, well, that's rubbish. That's absolute rubbish. Get rid of it. Don't look at it ever again. That is obviously not the answer. And there's quite often two of those. So let's get rid of B, don't signal at any time. You always signal to come off a roundabout. So don't signal at any time would be rubbish. Let's get rid of D, signal left when you're approaching the roundabout. If you were going 
ahead set down exit two you wouldn't signal left when you get to here because that means you're telling people you're going left if you tell people you're going left the people that want to come out of the junction would start coming out and you could then crash into them so you wouldn't signal left when you're approaching the roundabout we've got rid of those two so what signal should you give when you're going straight ahead at a roundabout which one of those is the right answer. Signal left before leaving the roundabout or signal right when you're approaching the roundabout. Is it A or is it C? If I've helped you, then please put your answer in and double tap the screen. Hannah, you're sure. Stephen, sure. Great answers coming in. Absolutely, they are. Sadie, user, Looper, Ellie, Jess, Wildo, Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. Yeah, absolutely. The correct answer is A, signal left before leaving the roundabout. You always signal left before leaving a roundabout. So, yes, of course you're supposed to play, Kate. That's what you're here for, of course. Yeah, put your answers in uh, and any tips you've got for teaching it better. Okay, um, Kate is a, a driving instructor, guys, so knows all of this stuff. Signal left before leaving the roundabout. You always signal left before leaving a roundabout. So if that answer's there, that's going to be the right answer. Some people think the answer is signal right when you're approaching the roundabout. If you're going ahead... Why would you signal right? Let's get back to the other picture. If, you, if you're carrying on going straight ahead, why would you signal right? That would be a misleading signal, okay? Don't put any signal on as a, are you approaching the roundabout. There is no signal to say I'm going ahead, is there? Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's go through another question. Misleading and dangerous, absolutely. So let's go through another question to make sure you properly, properly understand it. How should you signal if you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? There's a lot of words in this one. There's a lot of words in this one. How should you signal if you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? Signal right on the approach and then left to leave the roundabout. B, signal left after you leave the roundabout and enter a new road. C, signal right on the approach to the roundabout and keep the signal on. D, signal left after you pass the exit before the one you want to take. Is it A, B, C or D? Who's passed again? Let me say, Ivan Hopkins. Congratulations. Or was it Evan or Ivan? So is the right answer A, B, C or D? Let me know what you think based on, there's more people on, so you haven't all seen my explanation, but I'll recap now. Put your answers in and I can see loads, loads, loads more people getting it right now, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go through each question, each answer. How should you signal if you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? First of all, just think to yourself um, as you're driving along, what is the signal to go straight ahead? Evam, Evam, is that, what's that, more M Vaughan? What is a signal for going straight ahead? Is there a signal for going straight ahead? Do I signal to go straight ahead? Anyway, think about that. So signal right, A, signal right on the approach, and then left to leave the roundabout. If you're going straight ahead, why would you signal right? You wouldn't do that. So that's, the, that's, not, not, that's wrong. B, signal left after you leave the roundabout. Why would you signal after you've already left the roundabout? That's dangerous, you haven't told anybody what you've done. Yes, I am, absolutely. C, signal right on the, hang on a minute, right on the approach. Again, you're not gonna signal right if you're going straight ahead. D, signal left after you pass the exit before the one you want to take. So no signal when you get to here, Keep going round, and as you're passing by exit one, you signal left to go down exit two. Just exactly the same as if it was a straightened up road. And if you were going down exit two, you signal left when you get to about here. Signal left just after you pass the exit before the one you're going to take. Yay. 
that's the correct answer who has that do you know uh, okay in germany do you okay um awesome so has that helped anybody please let me know this is I wasn't supposed to be doing a quick lesson today but somebody specifically asked me and i wanted to cover it to help that person uh, annie i passed i'm so over the moon i need you to see the comment it's all because of you checks you did the work fantastic thank you for coming on and letting me know <gasps> so many people today have told me the past um congratulations awesome so you're you're understanding a bit more about signaling to come off and on roundabouts okay so just tell me guys if you're going ahead at a roundabout if you're going to go straight ahead at a roundabout what signal would you give as you're approaching the roundabout just let me know what signal Please do more videos. What do you mean more videos? Um, you failed yesterday. You do not have to fail again. Look at this course. This course will help you to pass. If you think I'm helping today, then you know my course will help you. If you're going straight ahead at a roundabout, when you're driving towards the roundabout, what signal would you give? Left, right or none at all? If you're, drive, if you're going to go straight ahead, none at all, proudly gospel says fantastic you do not signal to say i'm going ahead why would you do that you don't do that normally there is no signal to say i'm going ahead the course is uh, the course is 34.99 um i'm supposed to be going over questions now um so i think i'm gonna have to go off and come back on again unless anybody's got any questions you want to ask me instead has anybody got any questions to don't feel sad just by Annie's course it would be great yay my course will help you to pass I promise you um, tell you what I'll do I'll show you what's in the course I'll skip by some slides show you what's in the course and then I'll go off and come on again and go over a, a mock test with you a 10 question mock test that's part of my course so let me skip by and find and find some information about my course i'll show you what it is and then you then i'll, then I'll come off again so what it's got it's got worksheets video tutorials facts lists all of the official questions the most updated questions because the dvsa have given them to me it's got case studies it's got mock tests it's got mini mock tests i'm going to go over a mini mock test with you in a minute uh, it's got anxiety techniques even it's 34.99 so it's only the price of one single one hour driving lesson you will be 100 percent prepared to pass when you go all the way through it <gasps> this is my lesson from this morning so i need to skip some slides to show you even more about it because i'm not doing these slides again right now um okay it's helped more than five thousand people to pass so far and this is what's in the course watch this one minute video click on the link to have a look at the course um and then i'll go off and come back on again let me show you what's in the theory test course and how you'll go through it to guarantee you're 100 percent test ready go to the introduction first so you've got a really good understanding of what's expected in the theory test and how to go through the course. There are 14 different theory test topics. Let me show you what's in the accidents topic. You can download and print off a worksheet to fill in if you want to. You can fill it in while you're watching the video tutorials. Then you can listen to a fact list before you go and have a go at all of the official DVSA practice questions for that topic. When you've got all of the questions correct, have a go at the mock test for that topic. And when you get 10 out of 10 in the mock test, move on to the next topic and go through all of the topics in the same way so that by the time you get to the case studies and the full mock tests, you'll find answering the questions easy. That's what's in the course. If you suffer from anxiety, there are anxiety techniques. If you um, struggle with your hazard perception, there are hazard perception techniques. Um, there are techniques to answer any multiple choice question. You get bonuses if you sign up while I'm live of a free hazard perception course, a free hypnosis course worth £35. You only pay once for the course. You use it for as long as you need it. There is no time limit. It's your course to use 
forever and here's somebody that passed very very recently but you've seen people on here today past today hello i know you pro probably won't see this but i want to thank you because your lives and videos helped me to pass today and i'm very grateful thank you amy um fox paper scissors says i passed my th test yesterday after a failed 13 attempts and through your course but i passed if you are struggling, this course will definitely help you. Now, what I'm supposed to be doing right now is going over questions with you. So if you keep double tapping the screen, so like, hey, yay, get me loads of likes. What I'll do is I'll go off, because um, I don't know if I can skip to, I don't know if I can skip to screen share. Uh, maybe I can, but I don't know how to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is go off and I'll come back on in a minute sharing my screen with you and we'll do a mock test together how does that sound i did try to do it a few minutes ago but my internet connection went i wasn't here i wasn't at home. i wasn't in my office so um Faisal, you've been very helpful thank you very much uh, so i'm going to go off and come back on again see you soon i'll pin this course one more time before i go and then I